Hello, friends, family, and the rest. It is I, Fallen Fury, and welcome back to my Let's Play. Let's Let's Play Learn to Eternal Book Complete. Bleh. Sorry, it's been a little bit since I've recorded something, so I'm gonna get back in the swing of things. All right. Um, first thing you might notice, I level grinded a crap ton. I mean, obviously, I'm level 55 with everybody. So yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna let you know what I did. Um, here's my equipment. Master Sword, Amethyst Shield, Master Helm, Dyne's Armor, Snake Ring, Water Ring, two Warrior Crests. Basically, this, is, this isn't the important stuff. This is the important stuff. Two Warrior Crests for everybody, except for two Chiro Crests with Lamina. Um, you can steal those from Chiro Mongrels in the White Dragon Cave. Um, um, basically, you get a Thieves Staff with Lamina. Don't, if you, like, I got it in an earlier part. Just don't sell it. Don't sell it. And then, um, with... With a Ronfar, you want to get a Warrior Crest and a Seal Crest, and that'll basically give you like 200 plus attack, but um, it'll decrease your uh, your attacks by two, and with a oh, with a minimum of one, of course. And basically, what I did was um, I went to the Blue Dragon Cave, and I level grinded on the boats until about level 50, until Hero learned this technique, Triple Sword. It's basically post sword but times three. Amazing move. I mean, it takes more. MP, but you know, cost for convenience, I guess. Um, basically, you just use that, or like, um, two Chiro Crests will make Lamina the fastest. The user always goes first, and speed is greatly increased. Um, it'll make her go first, then she'll use, um, Power Drive on Hero, he'll use Triple Sword, Gene will use, uh, Blue Dragon Palm. Yeah, Blue Dragon Palm, and Ron Fowler will just attack, and Lucia hopefully will cast Atomic Burn on the Chiro Mongrel, and it'll give you 33,333 EXP. That's like a level up per hit, or per battle, so just do that. I'll probably make a video, a bonus video, showing what to do. But yeah, that's basically it. That's, I just did that for a good hour and a half, and I got that. Um, oh, you can buy Warrior Crests here at the item shop. Well, that was a weird little glitch. <laughs> okay, anyways, you can buy Warrior Crest right there. You know, a Horam. So yeah, it's basically all you need to know. Um, let's see. Where do I go? I forgot, kinda. Like, it's kinda funny because I actually played the game. I made a separate save file and played the whole game. Like, um, with the epilogue and, like, as well. So I. I was basically seeing what cutscenes I need to download from like a website or something just to make sure that like they work cuz I don't like to have skipping cutscenes in my let's play of this of games. I don't like when they skip, it just bothers me. So I just download them from a website or something and like splice them into the video. I probably won't have commentary in any of these cutscenes, so Ah, <sighs> Pentagulia. What an epic town. Look, Lucia, I can see the port of Pentagulia. We must now gather the power of the dragon to destroy the seal and rescue the goddess. <clears throat> With that, my mission will be accomplished, and the rest will be entrusted to Althena. Even if... Lucia? Danger! Incoming zombie at 6 o'clock! My, my, my. You've been busy, little beavers, haven't you? Yeah, we have, actually. Thank you for the compliment, I suppose. Galleon. What are you doing here? Zophar's restoration is not. Oh, there's the other party members. <laughs> that comes on point. Making faster progress than we expected. Therefore, it's my job to create a little crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Galleon's so weird. I'm telling you. <laughs> Why are you here, Galleon? Are you trying to stop us? <laughs> it's not as an, I'm not you're, bleh, you're not as ignorant as you look, hero. I'm afraid you can I cannot simply allow you to, and your friends to enter the holy city. You are as stupid as you look, Galleon. Last time you got lucky. This time we'll beat you. Wait, hero. Wait, so wait. Oh, battle time. I know your plan, Galleon. You will destroy us. You will join us so far to destroy our world. Me? Destroy the world? Oh dear, that sounds so barbaric. <laughs> I love it. Please don't conf confuse my intention, sweet child. Ellipsis, ellipsis, ellipsis. I will indeed destroy this world and send it into chaos. But then, with Zophar, I will recreate this world in the form I have always meant to have. Lunar will... Wait, why is Lunar on caps? Wait a minute. Lunar will be reborn as a flawless gem without the impurities of the goddess. And without you! Whoa, epilepsy for the lose. Lucia! 
Yay, got my clothes back. <laughs> I will not rest until I've accomplished my mission. Oh, that's kind of epic. And now I have removed the f seals of the four dragons. You cannot stop me. So you, so you think, Lucia, but you are so very wrong. You will disappear along with the dragon ship destiny. Uh oh, no good, no good, no good. No! Sweet Lucia, the blue star, your actions surprise me. You choose to protect Hero and his friends, mere humans? <laughs> Dear Lucia, this is quite a change in your way of thinking. So you can protect us this whole time and you freaking haven't? <sighs> Lucia, why do you fail so hard? I never expected you to be quite so amusing, dear child, and so I have decided to spare your lives and you and your friends, for now. I expect all of you to keep me delightfully entertained until our next encounter. Oh, that's not good. Well, I mean, it is good because we spare our lives, but you know. <clears throat> Lucia, are you alright? Hero. Come on, let's get this show on the road. I want to see some epicness. I am, I am Lucia of the Blue Star, and I must fulfill my duty no matter what the cost, no matter how I feel. Lucia? Oh, sweet. Hear me, dragons of Altina. Hear the commands of Lucia as I call you forth. Reveal your power and appeal before me. Ah, uh, Ruby? See, Ruby. So I kind of like forced her to become a dragon. <laughs> Sounds like a freaking bird. Okay, the blue dragon looks the coolest, I think, honestly. Next to the black dragon. That was awesome. That was the power of the four dragons. And now they can now they've broken the suit, we can finally see the goddess tower with the goddess herself waiting inside. Hi Ruby. Did you see that here? The other dragons have been broke through the like to like nobody's business. Great, now we can enter the tower and meet up with Althina. Hmm. God damn it. Go away, Gillian. Don't worry about it. You should be thrilled, dear Lucia. Your mission is nearly at an end. Go forth, Princess of the Blue Star. Go forth and meet with the goddess of speed. Or are you starting to realize what the consequences of that meeting will be? <laughs> Okay, he knows something that we don't. And I'm gonna figure out what that is. What the? More cutscenes? Couldn't be. Oh, never mind. Okay, now that we've done all that, um, luckily, uh, we can freaking <clears throat> go into the goddess tower. Alright. <clears throat> into the final area of the game, so to speak. Alright, are uh, we fully healed? We are not. <laughs> okay. 
Trusty handy dandy Athena statue for ultimate healing power. Okay. <clears throat> now basically, Pentagulia is the same essentially from the last time. It's like, ooh. Ugh, I was wrong. Hello, zombie. Hello. Now, they're not gray, so don't fight them. Thankfully enough. Oh, what is this place? This is Althena's fortress. It is the Ark of Althena's created so that for the journey to the Silver Star. What? Then the legend is true. Our ancestors really were brought here from the Blue Star by Althena. I've heard the same legend, but I never guessed it could really be true. I used to hear stories about the Blue Star became un uninhabitable to humans. But what could possibly have happened to ruin the Blue Star for humans? It... it... It's not important to know right now. We must hurry, Althena's waiting. Agreed, Lucia. Agreed. Now, unfortunately, this is another, you know, another dungeon. So there is enemies here. Uh, thankfully, there's nothing really too hard. I'm gonna shove every enemy uh, and whatever treasures here. Yeah, another vitality veil. No need. Go away. Go away. <clears throat> I will show what each enemy is and their attacks and all that junk. But I don't feel like fighting anything right now. I'll see. I'll you'll you'll see in a second. <laughs> I swear. Ah! No. No. Go away. I don't like mirrors. Uh. Oh no! Oh crap. Oh well. Our first battle in the Goddess Tower. Let's see what it is. It's a statue soldier and a stone creep. I'm guessing the statue sol yeah, statue soldier is the one in the front and the stone creep are the two in the back. Um, let's test out some of the abilities we got, actually. Uh, we'll see. I don't want to test out Triple Sword. I'll test that out in a second. Crap, I didn't um, equip that stuff from on far. Oh, <laughs> well. I'll do it in the uh, next part. Um, Jean, all she really learned was um, Slam Dance, which is basically a uh, the same version as... Uh, what's it, what was it called? Uh, I'm not sure what it was called before. But basically, you know how it attacked before? Now it does a full-on Blue Dragon Palm on it, basically. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll test it out for you. Now, Lamina learned a lot of crap. She learned, well, I think she learned, no. She learned Catastrophe, which is basically an Omni Elemental Attack spell. It takes 55 MP and does crazy damage. I'll show you what that is. Now she has to go first. Mega damage! And she basically just owns with every kind of freaking element out there. And owns face. <laughs> now, Lamina is badass. Okay, now it's uh, bleh. Wait, can I heal? I cannot heal. I'll take some of this stuff off the people that I don't want on. Let's take this off of Lamina. I want to give her lightning magic. And, um, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, that seems good. And Jean, Jean's fine. Okay. Let's go up. Keep on going. Keep on moving. Keep on trucking. Alright, and third floor. Ah, more mirrors. God, I've not run into one useful item yet. Luckily, mirrors are slow. No! Ah. Oh, well, I had to show it off eventually. Okay, here are plasma prisms. They're our new enemy in this place. Let's just start off heroes. That. Let's see what did Ron Farr learn. I think he learned this miracle at me, which is uh, heals everyone uh, once they're dead. He heals them fully, and it goes first usually, and cleanses the lane. It's basically like this, but with everyone. So let's do you know, just regularly attack. Jean, let's use Slam Dance. Lamina, let's just like power up Hero or something. I don't know. Yeah, and she does that. It's like the same thing as j uh, her previous attack, which I'm not sure what was called. Ooh, epicness! Bam! 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 Dead. 1,500 damage. Ooh, that didn't feel too good. Die, you freaking mirror. Thank you. Oh, I paralyzed him. Ugh. Yeah, up their attack of nothing. <laughs> 
come on, I have to win this battle before the time limit goes away. Here's what Jeans does. It's kind of cool, actually. Win. Okay. Alright, I have to call this part at a close right now because I'm out of time, like, literally. So, before I get into the next battle, this is Fallen Fury signing out. I've learned two turn of blue complete. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.